Hello. Recently I've been asked when is the best time to use an X di dialog form for collecting data as opposed to a standard form for collecting data in Alpha Software. If your customer is responding to a specific query or event, an X dialog is the perfect solution to handle that response. If your customer has to sit down and do a lot of data entry, for example, entering multiple records into a check writing program or payables, then you want to use a standard form where you can really speed up the data entry process. So let's look at an example of how an X dialog box would be used to respond to specific information needs. So we're going to use the check register program to take an uh, show an example. So under the reconciler um, it shows a list of the uh, data entry items that are in the check registry but now we need to take and make adjustments to balance our check register. So I click on miscellaneous entries and I have a list of different types of miscellaneous entries I can make. Service fee, interest, check correction, or deposit. So we're going to put interest um, we can use the default date, which is today, or set the date any way we want. And then we tell it, is this event going to add or subtract from the check register? Since it's interest, it's going to add. We put in the amount, 0.32 cents, and then we make ourselves a little note, P-I-T-I-F-U-L, because we all know that's basically what you get in interest from a bank. It's pitiful. Once you've done that, you click continue, and there you go. It writes your answer into your database for you. So that's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. A specific request for information, you process it in the X dialog, it writes the results to your table for you. Now let's take a look at how that's done. This is the form. Here's the check register. And this is the code that uh, is written. So what I've done is first I set a value for what's the name of the particular check register because in our account we can manage multiple check registers at the same time. Um, we set some variables. They're all set to be shared so that they expand beyond the immediate needs of the dialog box. Um, <clears throat> then we've built our list. Now the list, here you go, you see the service fee, interest, check correction, and deposit. And then we set the amount to zero and the default date, variable date, to, to the current date. Then we do our little owner draw formatting type stuff that gives, makes the dialog look pretty and uh, makes every other line of the list a different color. Um, down here we set our heading string, uh, fill in all values, and then the footer string, click cancel to close and do nothing. Basically tells what to do. So assign our two button labels and then we're ready to build our dialog. Now here basically um, building an X dialog is pretty straightforward. Uh, it's very linear in the way you write it. Um, so you just go down and you set your regions and you put in the different values that you want and it's easy to preview an X dialog box so you can make sure that the design and the layout are what you want. So I set my list first um, then I set the transaction date and I put a little frame around it. Um, then I want to I go ahead and put in the add or subtract for the type of value that uh, I'm running. Um, then I take and have a little blue frame that shows the amount and the description. Once those values are filled in, down here under the code section, um, first I put a kill focus on the date if the date doesn't fit within a range. Um, then uh, if it's canceled, I tell it to do nothing and it just ends. Any other option, go ahead and processes the code. So now it's quite simple. Table enter begin, and of course I name my table. Uh, I put in the date as the variable date field, a var yeah, variable date. Group is the entry type. Title is my select. Save count is uh, an internal function that we do. Uh, it's not necessary for this demo. Uh, save type, uh, we're saying it's uh, check register, transaction is expense, and the operand is add, the, or I'm sorry, if it's add, then we tell it to add the op 
put the plus as an operand on the database table, otherwise put it as a minus. We use those internally to drive the calculations and the balance on the uh, uh, check register. Then we fill in the amount, uh, set the character value for display purposes, and then we take and put in a line item description and we save it and it's done. It's pretty simple, very straightforward, and it's an easy way to make a simple attractive user interface for your customers. I hope this was helpful for you and thank you very much and have a great day.